right, here's going to be a little closer view of the, of the car, what it actually consists of. This is uh, actually, it's got the hole, and if you look in there, I don't know if you can see it, but it actually goes right to the motor. So it has that twisty thing. I, I got to get one of those. That would be wicked cool. Um, I'm definitely going to have to take these rims off and check out the whole brake situation and fix all that if I get just gonna go to fix it the way it is that's for sure this is the motor straight four and if you look down in here right here that's where the uh, twister comes in and it goes right inside this to turn the motor over which is pretty cool you know I've already turned the fan oh the fan and stuff I'm gonna need a new radiator but that looks like it's an insert it's an old one but it's just an insert maybe I can get it fixed I don't know But it looks like the start is good. There's oil in it. It's got a coil on it. it says on it the best coil ever made. Made in the USA. Detroit, Michigan. So that's pretty cool. There's the carburetor, the float bowl line going right in I haven't even looked over that side yet this is a gas tank this is all the gauges I don't know if you can see it but it says 900 Well, surprise, surprise, you dizzy got the thing off. It's one nut, it was one nut right there. One nut right there on the end here. And then I had to just wiggle it free. This is the brake, and this is the emergency brake. If you look inside here, the emergency brake runs on here. The regular brake runs on here. It's well greased, everything looks mint in there. See the keyway and everything? That's one thing I, I can't seem to find is the key. I didn't see a key come out of it. And I don't see a key in it, but there's a keyway there and a keyway on the shaft on the bottom. Somewhere. Yeah, right there. So I'll have to locate that. Oh, I see it. There we go. There's the keyway. So that's awesome. So it came apart pretty easy for, for what it is. And uh, if you look here, it actually is not locked up. It, it moves. And so does the uh, emergency brake. The emergency brake works also. 
so pretty cool. Another fine job by my Peter's longer than yours. Well, all right. I got the uh, brake all wrapped up for the weather. Got the thing on stands, the cheapos, but they're there. I took out all these bolts in here. So this is actually swinging freely now, this whole piece. I took all the bolts out of here. I actually got a piece of claw out of, out of underneath here. But I got all that shit, it's separated. All the bolts are out. Sounds like there's a fire. They need me to pull out my fire apparatus. So in here, in here if you look, they had a piece of wood in there. Um, it was cut like wide up this end and then narrow and it fit underneath this piece here to go all the way to the end and bolt in probably for a spacer and it looks to me like this one's missing also so I'm gonna actually put new ones in there I'll have to cut those so that's freaking cool but I managed to get the uh, tire off the tube off of one rim by hand with my two hands and some of those tools Oh, here's a piece of cloth. Look at this. That's that old time cloth that was around it. Pretty cool. So there's one of the rims. I got the uh, chrome rim around it right there. I'm going to have to get those maybe sandblasted up before I put new wheels on it. Said it was a 16 inch by 6 inch. 16 by 6 so I'll need two of those for the back anyways rig a sack so that's how far I got today so as always get you dizzy swag and comment like and subscribe cause that shit's hardcore peace I'll give you another look at the flathead.